What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Live and Learn. We have our favorite divorce attorney with us today. Her name is Annette Cox Sandoval, and she is with Cox Sandoval Law, located in Chandler, Arizona. And today, every day that we have her on is an awesome day. But today is a particularly awesome day because I know that this is going to answer a lot of questions that we have been seeing out there, a lot of posts with mamas that are starting to embark on this journey of divorce or even thinking about this journey of divorce and they're finding themselves with limited funds. So can you walk us through a couple of ideas or resources where our mamas can get the help that they need in a cost-effective way? Sure. Well, uh, first I would just say, take up the attorneys on their offer to do a free consult. Um, you know, I, for one, have no issue with giving out some advice and making sure that people get going in the right direction. Um, and sometimes when I, when I can sense that someone is a little, you know, oh, I don't know about the cost or, or worried about that, I can tell them how to file on their own, you know, how to find the petition or the paperwork and, you know, and if, if they're comfortable doing it, then, you know, by all means, save costs that way. Um, but I'm not the only attorney who does free consults. I'm sure there are several others and it doesn't hurt to try and, and get some help that way. Um, in addition to that, there are some community resources out there for people who have limited financial means. Um, there is, it's called the Family Law Assistance Program. Uh, there are volunteer attorneys who will be scheduled at the courthouse. I believe it's the downtown Phoenix one. And you can schedule time to go in and, and meet with them for an hour and they'll review documents. I'm not sure if they'll draft or edit things, but they'll at least give the person some advice about, you know, wherever they're at in the stage of the the process. Um, other resources include, uh, there is modest means. Um, there, there are several attorneys out there that will uh, do kind of reduced fee um, representation and they work through that program. Um, I believe you have to apply and, and meet certain uh, financial requirements in order to qualify. And then there's also uh, community legal services, which um, I'm lucky enough to be on the board of directors. And it's one of the largest, well, I think it is the only largest nonprofit firm in, in Arizona, but they will represent uh, people who have experienced domestic violence. Um, so if you meet the financial requirements and have gone through uh, DV, you can apply for services and they'll assign an attorney to your case and they will represent you just as if, you know, you hired me to do it. So, wow. um, so it's a, it's a great resource and, and they have other attorneys as well. They handle landlord, uh, tenant issues. Um, I believe they handle some bankruptcy and even guardianship issues. So it's, it's a great resource, uh, for, for people to consider. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Now there are other posts that we see or other conversations that I have where usually I'm talking to the mom, you know, where she says, you know, we're fine. It, it's, it's amicable. We kind of know what we want. Um, we're not fighting. We, we care about the other person. We just don't want to be together anymore. And where can we just do the paperwork and be done with it? So mm -hmm. do you recommend that or what is your, what are your thoughts on that? And do you have any advice? Well, I think, um, I mean, the county itself offers some of those options. If you look at the self-service center for Maricopa County, um, some of the other outlying counties in, in Arizona, I, I'm not familiar with what kind of online, uh, forms might be available, but you can usually find some. Um, that's one way of doing it by yourself. Um, there's in Maricopa County, there's also a new process called the summary consent process, which is supposed to streamline it. And it's where parties basically file together. Um, but the catch is that you really have to be on the same page. Like 
down to the detail. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, I, I do caution people. I think when, when you think you're on the same page and that you agree, there's often a, um, I don't know, a, a willingness to just say, well, we'll agree on the holiday schedule later or or to put in the parenting plan. You know, the parties will just mutually agree about who gets Christmas and Christmas Eve. And the risk with that is that down the road, you're probably not going to agree. Right. There's going to be, uh, you know, dad will interpret Christmas one way and mom wants Christmas to start on, you know, 10 a.m. Dad says 9 a.m. It it leads to disputes. So um, there is, you know, uh, you obviously get what you pay for with uh, an attorney and it's an investment to have private counsel. Um, but there are a lot of us, myself included, where we will do a maybe a flat fee to just draft that parenting plan. Um, I also offer a consulting retainer. So if all you need to do is ask questions or have me review documents, sometimes that can be an option. So there are lots of ways to get that advice without, um, necessarily going to the full level of hiring, uh, an attorney to step in and, and take over. I love that you said that about, Hey, you might be getting along now, or you might feel like everything is in agreement now, but things can change because I will guarantee that when they got married, they weren't thinking it was going to end in divorce. Right. Oh, right. And what I find is, uh, when you start introducing new significant others, suddenly mm. it, you know, you don't get along quite as easily or, or maybe, you know, sometimes it can improve the mm -hmm. situation, but I think more often than not, I find that it just makes it a little stickier. Suddenly dad wants stepmom copied on all the emails or, you know, vice versa. Um, so yeah, the more specific you can make a parenting plan, um, the better. And for my clients, I, I go overboard because the general notion of the parenting plan is, you know, if you're getting along, great, you can swap a weekend, you could adjust the exchange time, but if you're not getting along, you need something to fall back on. So that yeah. parenting plan, if it's specific, then it can actually be enforced. So um, I try to make it as detailed as possible, uh, at least as detailed as my clients will let me. And, um, and I, you know, I don't end up fixing a lot of those parenting plans. I end up fixing the ones where it's, you know, mom and dad will mutually agree as to Christmas each year. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones we fix. I love that you said that because this is where experience really, you know, makes, takes the center stage. And it's the same thing in my industry too, where I'll hear somebody say, well, it's really easy to unlock a door. Okay. Maybe that's what you think it is, but experience is going to show you otherwise. And if you don't go through this process with experience behind you, then you're going to end up maybe, you know, maybe you get through it, but you're not going to be in the best place that you can be, or maybe it totally backfires on you and your goals are not met and it ends up, you know, being something that you didn't expect. So experience is absolutely key. And I love that you said that, um, about being detailed with the parenting plan. I can see where that's very important. Anything else that you'd like to add regarding getting cost-effective help? I mean, that was a lot of information. So if you've got nothing else, like I totally get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to think, I mean, I, I think that really covers it. I just, you know, I, I think people should just trust their gut with, with the attorney and, um, and, I, I guess, well, one last thing, just to the extent you can be organized with your documents or evidence, that also helps if you do have an attorney. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely appreciate the clients that, you know, can tell me, you know, here's all my text messages and this is why they're important, you know, instead of just giving me their downloads for the past two years. So, um, if you can be organized with evidence and documents that 
that's super helpful as well. I totally agree because the way it works, correct me if I'm wrong, is the more time that you spend in research or reviewing, that's mm -hmm. just adding to the bill, right? Yes, it does. So yeah, I, I mean, I just sent an email asking, hey, you know, instead of just saying you provided this statement and, and we've been on this case for three years, tell me, tell me where or when, um, or even maybe reference our, our disclosure statement that we've done for you, because that's going to tell me exactly what document you're talking about, exactly what, um, what the issue is and, and kind of it connects the dots and it definitely helps with time. So, yeah. And it's going to benefit that party to put their time into it because they are more familiar with the situation. They know where to look at in the text messages. They know what they're going for. Right. So it's right. going to be a lot more, even time beneficial for them to put that together for you. And, and we're not talking like anything formal, right? Like just a simple spreadsheet, this date, this document, this date, I'm this day. I'm happy with a post-it note, you know, yeah. <laughs> slap a post-it note. I love post-it notes. So you put that on there and just say, you know, tell me why this is important. You know, that, that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. So organize, 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 document, 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 guys. I feel like that is, uh, that's a big piece to get out of this video, as well as the resources that Annette shared. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Very welcome. If so, speaking of the 30 minute consultation that you brought up earlier, if somebody wants to connect with you on that, what's the best way to do it? Uh, easiest is to just give our office a call and get scheduled. So we um, will rule out any conflicts and get you an intake form and, and get you on the calendar as soon as we can. Awesome. Well, thank you again. And for those of you out there that are interested in connecting with Annette, I highly suggest that you do so. Check out her contact information. I've got it in the show notes. So it makes it really easy for you guys to click on. If you want to hear more from her, pop on over to our YouTube channel. We are at Mom Nation USA. That is our handle. And you will just scroll down just a little bit. You will see the live and learn playlist. She's got a couple of videos with me in there. Um, but mostly she appears, she is the star of our <laughs> divorcing as parents playlist, which if you just scroll down a little bit more on that page, you will find that if you are more of the, uh, more of a podcast person, then hop on over to your favorite podcast platform, do a quick search for mom nation talk radio there. You can download, notify, like subscribe, all the things and get all of our episodes. Thank you guys so much. And thank you again, Annette. Bye. Thank you. Bye.